subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was easy. this one to the client. I'll tell them we took heavy resistance from the renegade platoon and the hostage was killed in the firefight. Also, their leader wouldn't let himself be taken alive. I doubt the client will pay us for this one, but we got a big enough reward from the General's number two instead. And as for the number two, he's saying he wants to join Diamond Dogs. I guess he knows what that means for him. He said, if I'm working for you, I can be number two, or number 200 for all I care. Boss, we have an emergency. Many of our staff are falling ill. At first it seemed like a common cold, but before we knew it, blisters started popping up on their chests and... Damn it. I'll fill you in at the ACC. Just get in the chopper. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sparganum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. That'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. 
From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other, and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those... I'll explain how to quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Go to the mother base menu and select staff management. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. First, take a look at the quarantine facility we've set up. Something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. But we have to expect that there are multiple staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. So how do we identify them? At present, we have no way to tell them apart. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the quarantine facility. We'll monitor them, and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Boss, get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Boss, a new job's come in. It's a hit. I'm the human trafficker who sent Shivani and the others to Nzoya Badiabulu. Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Base. The symptoms are similar to the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. logistics officer who works as a human trafficker on the side. The client wants him dead. He's currently on the run somewhere on the savannah with bodyguards. Unfortunately, we don't know what route they're taking. All we have to go on is a coded transmission sent by the PF at the Tati abandoned village. It appears to be a workup of the target security plans, but to decipher it, we'll need an intel file with the encryption key. This key should be at the comms facility at the Tati abandoned village. 
Check your eye droid to see what the target looks like, as well as the location of the village. Find a route. Find a man. Be careful down there, boss! Cover me! 